Okay, we have a mini laptop, not just any mini laptop. This is full metal with a twisting screen that becomes a tablet as well. And uh, this is the Who Smile Ultra Pocket PC. So while I open this, this one features an Intel N100, eight inches of screen, uh, Wi-Fi six and Bluetooth 5.0. 2 and also has 12 gigs of ddr5 ram plus either 512 gigs ssd or one terabyte optional the power brick here 30 watt because that's the uh power delivery system for this unit then of course you have the quick start guide and besides that you have the charging cable it's usb c to c braided really good quality i like that the one with a metal uh featuring here or design to match the actual laptop itself we have a stylus active but i call it interactive comes with a nice three four port usb hub usb3 hub really nice touch here and then off under that we have what says a gift let's see oh looks like it's an hdmi to hdmi oh yeah this feels really good actually has that uh metallic body and it's really nice has the vent holes here and here feels aluminum or aluminum alloy and uh feels really nice i like the corners they're not the corners that you can cut yourself with they're the nice semi rounded corners as you see we have a high speed usb 3 type a port headphone and microphone combo jack hdmi full output port uh, we have a usb c port that is with a display output so it can output display through that port as well and the other side nothing on the back we have the gigabit ethernet lan port that is really nice and besides that the rest is inside the unit itself oh this feels really good we have some instructions here that uh you can read if you want to it has some kind of gravitational magnets so called that when you close it it sticks now as i do with uh every device i ever get i like to plug them in before i even try to turn them on i don't know it's just a habit that i always do and uh, this one will have the same treatment and the power goes on that same USB-C that I spoke of. Yep, we have the red LED light showing us that the battery is charging. The power button is right here. And the trackpad, instead of being a trackpad, it is like a touch pad. We'll see that in function in a second, how that uh, feels and looks. These two here are your space bar. This is independently from each other, but same function. That's a space bar. And on the bottom, you have the left click of the mouse and the right click of the mouse windows button is here and to turn it on simply hold this power button here and let go when the light turns on blue right there and uh, let's hope if it goes straight to setup instead of to the windows itself let's hope for i didn't turn it on yet this is the first time i'm turning it on so you'll see it with me at the same time let's hope it goes to the first setup page only it's supposed to have windows 11 inside let's see yep it went to the first initial setup nice now i feel more comfortable actually working on it let me see this uh... oh yeah this is actually very responsive look at this it is actually a very responsive mouse I like that. If I click yes, look, yeah. Tap to click functions. Really good job. I'm liking this. Look at that. Click yes. I'm going to skip the second layout because we only need English. American English. And we have to accept these because we have no choice. I'm going to put a name just for now. Caps lock looks nice. Tiny. You don't have any light indicator if the caps lock is on or off separately than the button itself not sure if the camera is catching yep it lights up a little a light on the key itself to indicate the caps lock is on i'm just gonna put uh, my name here and as well we can do the setup with uh just touch i'm not gonna put a password and no location now we don't need none of that come on windows seriously you can do more bloatware and let's see what happens when we get into the system getting things ready for you this is a good sign that means it was not pre-set up before so we have everything being set up from the beginning so you don't run the risk of having anything pre-installed this is actually clean really good Kusmile. did a good job
And uh, while this turns on, let me open the stylus. Haven't used or even seen the stylus in a long time. We have a separate smaller tip, medium. Not sure if you can see them. This is the smallest. This is medium. And there's one already pre-installed. But you choose if you do some kind of design especially it being really responsive touch for a designer probably that's actually a good thing to have a stylus but we're gonna test it i'm gonna leave the one that it uh, came in with that's that should be fine and uh the battery goes somewhere in the stylus oh oh so the body of this stylus is as well aluminum <laughs> they didn't quit on making everything metal i like that okay let's uh see what happens here it has two function buttons as well that i'm assuming you can assign for stuff they're right here this metallic feel on the stylus is actually really nice how does this even work i don't know but there should be a setup oh that's really responsive the stylus we are not connected to the internet yet i just like to do things without internet first <laughs> but yeah this stylus i i never thought i'd say this but i like the stylus <laughs> i don't know why but i like it we go to info i just like to check this one first and see what's going on windows 11 pro it comes with yep here goes then we have intel n100 four cores and four logical processor mm -hmm. we have 12 gigs of installed physical ram and that is it that is really nice that's all i wanted to see the rest is up to us what we install or what we don't install on it now i can turn on the uh wi-fi just so we can see other stuff and uh let's just do it quick and now we are connected to the internet everything should be good and before i go any further let me uh do some updates so windows and if there's any drivers necessary will be done at this point before we go ahead testing its capabilities of uh, connecting to a monitor or even multiple monitors. We'll see how that goes. We'll give you just a second. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in just a second. And uh, before we go into any kind of software stuff, let's uh, try the HDMI just to make sure everything is working as intended. And I'm going to plug it to this monitor right here. And uh, looks like it wants to. Yep, right away. I mean, that's uh, all you need. And of course, you can change the screen resolution and all that other stuff. You can duplicate it. Or, for example, let me extend. Yep. So now this is its own thing. And that one is its own thing. Nice. That's what I wanted to see. And uh, can we play stuff on it? Okay, guys. What are we doing today? Yeah. Looks like we can play any kind of a video. This is in 1440p right now. Let me put it full screen yeah no problem at all let me get back to the main screen yeah and we can still function and do other stuff on the main screen if we want to then that that's it i mean when it comes to the hdmi it works flawless so let me stop this i'm not gonna copyright myself but just don't want to bore you with it <laughs> now i'm gonna do really quick just a sound test for to this microphone here just so you can kind of hear how the keyboard would sound in real life okay so we're gonna do a quick typing test well by typing test i mean simply i'm gonna just hit the keyboard so you can hear how it would sound this is the keyboard. It looks like I pressed some function. It sounds like a membrane, I would say. Yeah, that's how it sounds. And now let's actually test the speakers. The speakers that fire up here. Uh, the, the volume I think is on max. Let me just double check. Yep, it is on max, so I'll try just this video right here. Should be more than enough for what we need. And uh, what I did, I bought it on this bag for $24.99. Now, you cannot get any cheaper now, it, than that. You it's not the loudest, bag, gotta tell you that. Uh, oh, one good thing, it it's, comes with a power. So you it's can on the normal, it towards to low the side. The battery is probably not the greatest. You know, and well, use but they're listenable. Okay, so they're they're definitely no. usable. That's all. Okay, now I'm just gonna test. Uh, well, test. I already downloaded it actually. CapCut, and uh, 
as you see it told me that CapCut can run on this computer smoothly and as you see CapCut is already installed here I don't have an account so I'm not gonna pretend like uh, I'm gonna edit anything but just to try do sometimes if it doesn't run on your computer CapCut is quite good about it to tell you yeah don't even try this one it opened up now I don't have anything to import here but you know everything seems to be uh in working mode and that's all that uh, matters now you can uh, work yourself with whatever you need to edit I, obviously you're gonna do light editing I, I i have one of those intrusive thoughts right now to try something that's a little bit crazy you know we have it connected to one monitor what if we put the let's say six monitors <laughs> how, how does that sound how does that sound let me do that let's see how that goes if it starts smoking i'll run that's it it's very simple so now the chances of this working are not of the highest variety but my brain is on the highest variety right now to try it and uh we're gonna do this wavelength this is an 8k or quad 4k and it's it has crazy stuff this wavelength here it has crazy stuff and if smoke starts i am running i see things changing there's just no way this happened there is no way literally one two three four five six and its own monitor seven monitors let me go to display let me let me just make sure i'm not the uh, you know <clears throat> losing it okay one uh looks like we have to go this way two three four and the fifth is right here are you kidding me right now <laughs> what's the last time you've seen this one in real life from a tiny little thing like that well a tiny little thing might be having help from this here but come on still to support it that's a lot that is really a lot look at that literally it says seven monitors right here because it includes the native monitor that's already in it this this is oh, i don't know what else to tell you look at that that tiny thing firing up all these things here literally it says seven let me turn off that light there because it's making a mess look at that <laughs> Ah, come on seriously come on now seven freaking monitors on the settings now if i wasn't that lazy i would probably i would rearrange them you know to make sure that when i move the cursor around it makes sense but hey i don't really care all i care is that look at these beauties it's a full house now aha uh -huh. ain't nobody like us and i can just work in all of them as much as i can look at that how do i identify them <laughs> five six two seven oh yeah uh that will take half an hour just <laughs> to rearrange them <laughs> this is crazy come on wow okay yeah so this thing actually does a really good job